anytime the word horsepower was mentioned, Robert Yates came right with it. He just uh, a great guy, and uh, uh, I just thought the world of him. He's one of my heroes. I know what Doug's going through, man. I lost my dad, and it's not fun. So, um, yeah, so what are we going to do? We're going to put stickers on every Ford car that races this weekend. I don't care. Beyond NASCAR, any Ford car that's racing will carry the sticker. You know, every round you gets a little more intense. The competition steps up. And, uh, you know, hopefully we were able to, uh, to do that ourselves. was, uh, you know, be able to raise the bar a little bit from where we've been the last three weeks. It's like any other professional sports. As you go through the playoffs, the next round's tougher, your, com your competitors are tougher, and it's the best of the best that are left, and uh, it's up to you and your team and your manufacturer to step up your game and uh, take it to the next level. Well, we are starting the second round of the playoffs, and I'm really excited. We've got four of our guys. We did lose one in the first round, but everybody's got four right now, so the battle is on. For us and everybody at Stuart Haas, I mean, to be involved with Ford Performance, um, have the support, uh, you know, the backing that, that, they, that they give us with, um, you know, the technologies, the database, the SIM programs, um, timing and scoring, all of those things that, that they put together for us to uh, make better decisions um, week in, week out. Um, it's, it's, it's a big plus and uh, certainly a big part of our success. The playoffs have a funny way of putting you in a different mindset and mind frame but being competitive on the mile and a half racetracks is very important to uh, to achieve uh, a championship uh, with the way that the schedule is set up so we have to continue that progress and, and hopefully we can. Have you been a Harvick fan your whole life? That's cool. When I grow up I want to be a fixer with four of the race cars. You do? Well uh -huh. you can do that man. You can do anything you want. All right. All right let's see the other side. Come on. I think it's really important for the Ford leadership to be here on race day. I mean, the, the teams need to know that we support them. They do know that we're with them all week long. But, you know, it's one thing when you're here and you're ready to drop the green flag and they see us and we shake their hands before they get in the car. I'm, I'm glad I've, I've been able to experience the leadership from, from Ford because I think it, in our first year at SHR, I think it's allowed us to overcome so many hurdles because of the support. And when you talk about support, it's not just from a checkbook or um, you know, a piece of machinery or something that, that is given to you. It's from people being hands-on and people being involved. And, and you see that all the way from the top down at Ford. And, and for me, that's been, been very refreshing. And, and I think everybody at Ford uh, loves to race as much as we love to race as a race team. So it's not just about a marketing plan. This is about uh, trying to get the cars to perform the best that they can on the racetrack. And you see that uh, skin in the game all the way from the top down. Our Jimmy John's board is running good right now. The only thing that's got me concerned, I feel like I've got a unique line. I feel like I'm better. I'm not going anywhere. The tempo, we're definitely better this run. You're doing great, man. Nah, a great job, man. Our times are way more competitive this run. New leader in Charlotte, Kevin Harvin. I'm at a green checker here. Clear. Kevin Harvick, winner of stage one and now stage two. That's the start of the race, so let's have to see where that goes. Green, 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 green. Well, now I'm telling you whatever you need. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging, all yellow. Keep digging, keep digging. Clean laps is really the telltale sign of, of uh, where you are performance wise, and, and today we led a bunch of laps and we're in contention all day, so uh, it's a good run for us. Yeah, you know, it seems like Charlotte and Kansas, we just have not been able to connect what we're looking for here the last few fall races. And uh, so hopefully we can go to Talladega again and connect what we're looking for. There you go. He has four wins at Talladega. Brad Kozlowski hoping they can score another one next Sunday because right now he's below the cut line by two.